Hey guys, it is day nine, day nine of this test. Every three days I've been tasting through each of these bottles of wine to see which one is going to hold up the best. Wait, 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 wait. You forgot number five. Oh, I was hoping you would forget. guys, it's Baron Belt's The Wine Missionary. Man, it's day nine. Day nine. It's amazing. So what I did was I bought the same bottle of wine, same vintage, same label, same everything. All right, so I bought five bottles. I tasted each of them at the very beginning to make sure they were all exactly the same. And then I used three different preservation methods. The other two Really not so much preservation methods, but I'll talk about those in a minute. So um, every three days I've come back and tasted each of these wines to see how they're progressing. In other words, we know that oxygen is the enemy of wine. Once oxygen comes into contact with the wine right after you've pulled the cork, it begins to undergo a process, a chemical process called oxidation. Oxidation is the enemy of wine. So the key here is to eliminate the oxygen as much as you can, all right? So in the first three, that's actually what we're doing. We're using different methods to get rid of the oxygen. So I don't want any more oxygen to come into contact with these wines. So I'm gonna go ahead and reseal these. With re-pour, it's literally like a cork stopper I took off the seal on day one, and on day three I put it back in, day six I put it back in, and now on day nine I'm putting it right back in. According to Repor, there is a, enough of a gel that's inside of this stopper that will continue to take up the oxygen inside the bottle and even inside the wine they claim. Um, so we're testing that out. The next one is the pump. So you just put the little rubber stopper back in there. You put the pump right back on, hold the bottle uh, top and hold the apparatus itself together and then just pump until you can't pump anymore. There you go, that's it. The next one is Argon Gas. So this particular brand is called Optivino number one. Don't know what number two is, but this is number one. So you just put the little straw down inside the bottle. Again, you don't want to touch the wine with it, but we've had enough where it's, we're not going to have that issue. So I'm placing it all the way in, and then you depress for a second and a half. So count with me. One, one and a half. And then you put the cork right back in there as fast as you can. All right. So like I mentioned, with the first three, these are true wine preservation methods from a standpoint that each of these three methods actually gets rid of oxygen in the bottle, all right? With the last two, unfortunately, not so much. But at least the cactus stopper wine has something going for it. With the cactus stopper wine, I actually put this one back into the refrigerator along with these other three methods. Why, Baron? So oxidation is a chemical process. When you put these bottles of wine into the refrigerator, it slows down the oxidation process. So again, there is nothing that removed oxygen from this bottle. All I did was to put the fancy, beautiful cactus stopper back on top, all right? So the only difference between these two, they each have a closure, neither of them remove oxygen, this one went back into the fridge. This one, however, has just been sitting on the counter for nine days with the cork shoved back in it, sitting at room temperature. Guys, I remember day three, it was already kind of like not doing so well. Day six, didn't even want to smell, didn't even want to taste it. Now we're at day nine. <sighs> Here we go. Now, 
I am going to put the cork right back in there though, because I do want to give it a chance. A chance at what? I don't know, but there we go. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Repour. I'm gonna smell all these, gonna taste all these. The whole idea, guys, is I'm trying to figure out which of these three, really, because these are the three true preservation methods, which of these three is going to last the longest? In other words, preserve the wine inside the bottle the longest. In other words, which one of these is going to taste the most like the day that I popped the cork? All right, we'll agree for it. Here we go. Smelling it. So, okay, like I mentioned at day six, um, the, the fruit has become a little bit more mature. Yeah, so this one is actually, um, yeah, the, the last three days, this one has definitely gone downhill. Now, guys, granted, it, it, that's expected of all of them. So it's not like, ah, oh, you're losing. I haven't tasted these two yet to say that. But yeah, the flavors, this is very typical with a wine that is undergoing oxidation. The flavors become much more muted. In other words, whereas at the beginning it was this blackberry, like fresh blackberry, it was just, it was delicious. Now it's just really muted. It's, it's, it's like, it, okay, if you could take the uh, seeds out of a blackberry and uh, out of an old blackberry and kind of like crush them, and then if you put that in your mouth, the seeds, not the blackberry, right, but the blackberry seeds and just kind of like, mm -hmm, that's what that, it's just, it's really not that pleasing. It's not horrible. It's not bad yet, I wouldn't say. It's just not good either. So if I smelled this at a restaurant, tasted this at a restaurant, I would say, ah, let, me, let me taste something else and figure out what I want for dinner. All right, on to the pump. Wow, am I just a homer or what? I've always said the pump was the best, but that was without ever doing this test before. So this is a real scientific test. That's remarkable. So the, the, the one with the pump, um, it smell, it still smells fresh. Like there is, there's none of that like maturing character going on here. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was as fresh of a blackberry aroma as it was day one, obviously, or maybe even day three. That has faded a little bit, but it, it's not bad. If I smelled this wine for the first time, actually, I would say, wow, that smells interesting. I'd like to taste it. Hmm. Man, yeah, wow. So even uh, on the palate, yeah, okay, the, the, the blackberry is, again, just like on the aromatics, the blackberry is not quite as fresh and fruity as it was at the very beginning, um, but it's not bad. So I, like there's nothing about that wine that I would say is bad, off, time to run away, anything along those lines. So man, the pump is, uh, it's really doing well. I'm, I'm pleased about that. Okay. Argon gas. Okay, so just, just like day six, uh, just like day six, the argon gas is progressing really about the same pace as the report is, as far as like the, the changes. Yeah, so aromatically, again, it, it, it's like that, just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of dull. Uh, it, it doesn't have that blackberry character much anymore at all. Um, really, I would say really similar to the report. Okay. Um,
So aromatically, I would say that these two are not that different, but as far as like on the palate, as far as the flavor profiles go, um, the Argon Gas is, is edging this one out. It, it is a little bit, um, still not good. Like, uh, again, waiter brings this to me, I taste it and I'm like, well, let me try something else or open a fresh bottle, right? I, I would still say that about this wine, but at least on the palate, it's just not as progressed as far as oxidation goes as the Repor. So, but guys, again, don't get all excited. It's a long-term test. As I've said before, I'm committed to you. Until the last bottle is gross, I'm going to continue this process every three days. The next one will be day 12. And now for the two that I am least looking forward to. So like I mentioned with the cactus stopper, that's all it is. You just put a stopper back in the bottle and put it in the fridge and hope for the best. Yeah, so yeah, with, with this, with this so far out of the three and even compared to these two, it has definitely progressed past, uh, past those two as well. Yeah, De definitely to the point I would say it's bad. Uh, now it's not, it's okay. It's not as bad as this one was at day six. I'll say, <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> That's why I'm really scared of that one at day nine. Um, yeah, but th this one's done. It's just, it's done. It's over, but I'll taste it. Nevertheless. Okay. Aromatically, uh, it, it's dull. Um, it, it's tired. It's a little stinky. Uh, yeah. And just not want to taste that at all, but here we go. Why am I doing this, honey? <laughs> okay, that's just gross. It, um, it is it is really progressed a lot since day six, which isn't a surprise. Nothing is removing oxygen. Uh, yeah, so it's just gotten worse and worse. And now for number five. Oh, here we go. It was horrible on day six. So day nine. Oh my goodness. Even the crow thinks it's horrible. Do you hear him out there? He's like, don't Baron. Crows don't sound like that. So I'm not sure how that happened there. Okay. So it kind of smells like balsamic vinegar. Like, you know, the, the, yeah, balsamic vinegar. That's really what it smells like, uh, but not pleasant. Not like I'm going to put this on my salad with some olive oil or something. It just, that's kind of the smell that it has. No surprise. That's what begins happening with oxidation. And, yeah, that, yeah. Why do I keep smelling it? It's because it's weird. Like, you know how you have something that smells weird and then you just keep smelling it because it's weird? That's what, that's, <laughs> okay, I'm not smelling it again. I'm just going to taste it now. I signed up for this. <laughs> okay, so day six where I said it was wrong and, and I don't know how I could say it's just more wrong. It's, um, it's really dry, really um, no fruit characteristic whatsoever. So in that, 
In that sense, it's really no different than day six. It just, now it's just like got some horrible stuff going on. It, it's like, uh, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. Yeah, it's really getting into like a different space where I don't even want to describe what it smells like or tastes like anymore because it's really that bad. That's really, I just need to rinse my mouth up briefly here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, just doing that, oh my goodness, such a tremendous million miles difference. Okay. So guys, what have we proven so far? Well, we've proven so far that nine days in, these three methods that actually remove oxygen, they're all still hanging in there. Different degrees, but man, still to me, by far the pump is, is, still, is still winning the contest. But as I've said before, I'm committed. I'm gonna stick through this every single three days until the last bottle's gross. So stick around and until next time, cheers.